Morgan Klinsman's tally stands at six goals from the opening five games. Only work permit delays prevented Ardiles from parading his latest acquisition from Romania, Georgi Popescu, a midfield anchorman he says is the final piece in his Tottenham jigsaw. In contrast, Leicester City manager Brian Little has used 22 different players already, and last season's leading scorer, David Speedy, hasn't kicked a ball yet. Franz Carr makes a home debut on loan from Sheffield United, and there's a recall for Julian Jochim after a couple of games out of the fray. He won't be 20 until next week, but his exciting promise has already led the England under-21 coach, Dave Sexton, to liken him to Romario. Early forward towards Klinsman, and now it's Sheringham. Anderton's got space to his right, if it runs for him, Willis makes sure that it doesn't... It's a corner kick, but it could have been a lot worse, but for Jimmy Willis. He could be forgiven for being a little nervous in defence, the Leicester number four, because he scored own goals in each of the team's last two games. It's an indication of Leicester's luck at the moment. Klinsmann! Well, he had space to volley without pressure, and that's criminal, really. Acrobatic, only, only just curved and dipped wide of its target. Beautifully set for the volley. Philpott, wait by Nethercott, Lewis. Draper, into Ewan Roberts, chance for Julian Jochim, good save! Just bounced up in front of Walker and he was able to help it over the bar. An excellent opportunity for Julian Jochim. Draper will take the corner. Awkward for Walker, chance for Moen, but defending by Barnby, still Blake. Calderwood couldn't get it clear. Almost came for Carl, came off Carl, it'll be a goal kick. Saul Campbell had the last word. Header oh. away by Campbell. Lewis is looking very, very promising, the left back. He's 20 years of age. But Moen has slipped and Klinsman has got a chance here for Spurs with Anderton and Sheringham with him. Dumitrescu has got up two and Barmby. This is Anderton. In comes Klinsman. Here's Dumitrescu. Probably the clearest chance of the game so far. And it was a long, long way off the target. They had men over there. Klinsman did enough in the air to force the ball on, and Dumitrescu really just needed to steady himself a little bit more. Accommodation starting to click. Roberts getting more and more joy in the air. And Joe Chim threatening to get some joy beyond him. He was between the two central defenders there. Just bounced up at an awkward height. Julian Joe Chim. Taking on Nethercott. He got past him. Coleman came across, but it didn't matter. Julian Joe Chim gives Leicester the lead. Just for the moment when Leicester City season gets off and running. But once Jochim's running, he's difficult to catch. Too quick for Nethercott. Across came Calderwood, but Jochim just managed to poke it, maybe off Calderwood, into the goal. I'm feeling there was a slight deflection here on the final shot. Indeed there was, and it just looped beyond Ian Walker. It's come in first half stoppage time. Well, I think they're all expecting him to cut it back. And Barmy was trying to use that element of surprise to squeeze the ball between Poole and his near post. But if he had his time over again, I think he might have tried the cut back to Klinsman. Draper on the break, and plenty of options here for Mark Draper. This is Phil Pot. Carr arriving. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, it's been that sort of game. Slate. With the very greatest respect to David Kerslake, of all the men that Spurs had forward, they had to fall to the fullback who's never scored for them. And on his wrong foot, too. But it was a chance. On to Draper. On to Chochim. Big moment for Julian Chochim. And a big relief to Ian Walker. Played in by Draper, and he just poked the ball almost from Mario style, wasn't it, with the outside of his right foot. But Walker managed to help it over the crossbar. Anderson's header, this is Roberts. Agnew. Draper, a real inspiration. In towards Roberts. Hell to get the touch. Well, it was a move that deserved a goal. Maybe if he'd gone with the head than, rather than the leg. He couldn't quite decide which part of his body he was going to put it in with. And it stayed out. Sheringham. Edinburgh. Cut out by Blake. And here's Joe Chim. Three against two here. Doesn't know whether just to keep possession or try and put it beyond Spurs. It's played David Lowe in. Jochim, the scorer of the first goal, is the provider of the second. And David Lowe, who's just come on as a substitute, who scored a great goal at Wimbledon last week, has scored another beauty this week. And Leicester City have found their feet in the big league. Sheringham. Klinsman, he's made space. Oh, and he's made Leicester pay. Not over yet, not by a long way. World-class stuff. And the uh, Leicester party invitations won't be sent out just yet. 90 seconds remaining plus whatever. Even when you think you've got a game one, you have to think again. Kill from Klinsman to Anderson. Sheringham. Edinburgh outside of him. Sheringham instead looking inside. Dumitrescu's kicked it in. And Poole has held on. Marvellous finish to a game. Just got better and better. We're in stoppage time. Roberts has found Jochim again. And again, it's Julian Jochim once more. And now. It's 3-1, and now they have won the game. Julian Jochim confirms his return to the side with his second goal of what has been a memorable afternoon for Leicester City. He'll be 20 on Tuesday. And I would think the talk of the party will be his performance against Tottenham. <laughs> September the 17th could be a red-letter day for Leicester City. Their first Premiership win, not before time, but maybe in time to get their season moving. Julian Jochim, 
a star in the making, scorer of two of their three goals. It's the second defeat of the week for Spurs, still looking to make all the pieces fit. Opening.